Human behavior has always been a mystery. Why do people do what they do? Why do they react one way when we expected something else? How do we learn to understand, connect with, enroll, engage, align with people most effectively? Hi, I'm Christine Kemaford, founder of Smart Tribes Institute, and welcome to our Smart Tribes Crack the Behavior Code podcast. In each episode, you'll learn practical, easy to use tools to better understand and change human behavior. These tools will help your team outperform, out engage, outsell the competition. In other words, to become a smart tribe. Oh, and you'll find these tools super helpful in your personal life too. Let's go. Let's look at the ultimate stay interview guide today. You know, what happens when a person leaves? Do you know it in advance? You know, I often find that there are some signs, but often employers are blindsided, you know, when a rock star quits. And so today let's look at taking a more proactive approach, checking in on what it'll take to keep your stars at your organization. Great people are hard to find and they can be even harder to keep. I recently came across a great book. Uh, It's called Love Them or Lose Them, Getting Good People to Stay. And it's by Beverly Kay, K-A-Y, and Sharon Jordan-Evans. I highly recommend it. So as a leadership and culture coach, I very often work through personnel matters. So when I witnessed the clear and concise thinking in this book, I knew I had to share it. So let's first look at why employees stay. Kay and Jordan Evans surveyed over 17,000 employees to learn what conditions will keep an employee with an organization. They call these conditions stay factors. And note that these are neither industry specific nor role specific. They are universal. How cool is that? So exciting work and challenge, career growth, learning and development, working with great people, fair pay. Okay, so far that sounds pretty doable. Uh, Number five, supportive management, good boss, right? Number six, being recognized, valued, and respected. Number seven, having decent benefits. Number eight, meaningful work, making a difference. Number nine, pride in the organization and its mission and its product or service. And number 10, great work environment and culture. So here's a little interesting tidbit. 91% of survey respondents listed at least one of the first two items among the top reasons that they stay. Let's go back to one and two. Number one, exciting work and challenge. Number two, career growth, learning, and development. So this is one reason that I harp, and people are sick of hearing about it, on individual development plans. Um, We have to help people see how they are learning, growing, developing by being at your firm. So how do we do a stay interview? Well, we simply ask the employee. So some leaders fear that discussing this topic will open that proverbial can of worms and get the employee to think about leaving. I disagree heartily. The employee is already thinking of leaving at times, probably on hard days, when they feel overwhelmed or discouraged, if they're experiencing tremendous stress in their personal lives. It's likely only a fantasy about leaving. But why not simply communicate directly about it? It's refreshing, it builds trust, it shows that you care, it shows that you're not you know, in denial about just a reality of life. There's no ideal time to do a stay interview though. So the goal is to do it before an employee has one foot out the door. And you can do it during a development conversation or like when checking in on their development plan, you can do it at year end or at the new year, anytime is fine. If you don't know what their answers might be to the below questions that I'm going to cover in a second, then it's time to do it now. (laughs) So here are the recommended stay interview questions from Kay and Jordan Evans. What about your job makes you jump out of bed in the morning? What about your job makes you hit the snooze button? (laughs) If you were to win the lottery and resign, what would you miss the most? What one thing that have changed in your current role would make you consider moving on? If you had a magic wand, what would be the one thing you would change about this department? 
If you were to go back to a position in your past and stay for an extended period of time, which one would it be and why? What makes for a great day? What can we do to make your job more satisfying? What can we do to support your career goals? Do you get enough recognition? What will keep you here? What might entice you away? What do you want to learn this year? How might you learn it? Now, I want to be sure to ask anything else I might have missed, right? Use your effective listening skills. If they say something um, that seems vague or they say something is hard or disappointing, always say what specifically, how specifically, right? And we want to be careful with their responses. Don't dismiss their ideas, input, answers. Be really curious. Like, think about, wow, what's it like to be them? You know, you don't know what it's like to be them. So be an anthropologist, studying a fascinating creature. And if done this way, the interview will build deep connection, loyalty, trust. Ultimately, it'll boost retention. So what you can do now, you can implement individual development plans. Okay, I'm going to have a uh, link on the show page to a sample. People need to know that they're growing and they're learning. This helps us feel achievement and empowerment at work, which is key. Keep it simple. Have the employee and their leader develop it together. If you make it too complex, no one's going to do it. <laughs> do a regular employee engagement survey to see how people are feeling. And we're going to show you an example um, of the SBM index. We'll just show you a heat map so you can see example of that. Number three, create a cultural game plan. We're going to show you on the show page the game plan infographics. You can see what we're talking about there. And then number four, give frequent feedback. Ooh, let's put the feedback frame on the show page. I think you're going to like that. We want everyone to be connected and clear on what's working and what they'd like to see more of. You know, what the heck? So net net, stay interviews help you understand how your team members are feeling about their work. It's essential just to stop guessing and start knowing what will keep your stars happy. Do those stay interviews across your organization as you need. During development conversations is always a good time. And put the recommended programs in place to maintain and grow the good feelings in your organization. If they're happy, they're going to stay. Okay, <laughs> Good. So I want us to make sure that we think about this. I want to make sure that we... Um, really focus on what we're doing to help keep our people on board, engaged, happy. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Every listen, every share, every review helps others form their own smart tribes where teams are engaged, happy, and optimally performing. Together, you and I can help millions of people crack the behavior code in their organizations, families, and communities. I invite you to take two minutes and head over to smarttribesinstitute.com to discover more about how to form a smart tribe. See you there and please tell your friends.